the whole thing with like safes yeah um and i think uh, did you did your crew have a bit of a reputation it was just for... our crew, like, it was, yeah well it did it was a lot there was a lot of that going on back then yeah you know? um obviously this day and age that sort of crime doesn't really exist anymore mm. you know back in the the 90s or the, even from the 80s yeah 80s to 90s up to early 2000s you know that would that would that was how people you know did earns and made money it was through safe breaks you know, accounts, you know, businesses, you know, they weren't fucking banking all their money all the time, especially over long weekends and stuff. Mm. You know, like if there was a long weekend, um, they'd fucking put all that. And a lot of people were dealing with cash back then. So they put all yeah. their money in the safe. You know, you hit a fucking a prominent business on a fucking Sunday night and you get three days take, <laughs> you know, there could be anything between 40 to 80 grand. Fuck. You know, if you get in there and it's a fucking piece of shit safe and you pop it open and you're getting that in fucking 10, 15 minutes work between three dudes, it's not a bad little little bit, a little earn. A little you know? lick. I think there was a story that you that you sort of briefed on the one time or the first time where you guys got caught uh, like trying to trying oh, to take a safe. Yeah, no, it was an ATM machine. We're trying to drag it out of a shopping center with a chain <laughs> tied to the back of a hute. Okay, so can you walk us through in a bit of detail for that incident? Like, so you're going to a shopping center, yeah, you've yeah. obviously oh, seen- was, Look, we had the plan for about a week. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was pla all planned out and- um, So you're, you're going for an ATM? Yeah, 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 inside of a shopping center. Okay, and right. then so how did we hit, that- we hit, Look, of... put it this way, we hit on a Friday night which is not probably a good night to work because obviously patrols are boosted on a Friday night. Yeah. And there's a lot more going on around the place. Um, but obviously, it you know, ATM machines, they work opposite to a safe. Because like a business will make money over a long weekend and put their money in and you get it at the end of a weekend, you're getting their weekend's take. Yeah. Whereas an ATM machine, they'll fill it up on a Friday. Yeah. So people can pull money out of it over the weekend. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. So you got to hit that shit on a fucking Friday night or a Thursday night. Okay. So then you get the full, you know, all the cookies. Mm -hmm. But yeah, nah, fucking, yeah, it was all planned out and, you know, down to a T. Had a killer fucking car. Had all the tools. But fucking, um, yeah, it was just... Fucking went to shit. Yeah, pretty much went to shit. Yeah. So when you do something like that, I mean, are you basically? Just oh, we had look, we had overalls, balaclavas on, you know, gloves. You know, it was all fucking prepared and. And is the shopping center like it's closed? Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. you're breaking through. You're ramming yeah, yeah, through. Yeah, yeah. And then tying the machine to what the back of to the a car. Chain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just flexing yeah. off, and it comes. Yeah, yeah, dragging out yeah. with you. That's what that was the plan. Yeah, but it didn't go down to that plan. So. <laughs> If that's not what happened, what actually did happen? What happened was, is that fucking, the ute didn't end up fucking fitting all the way into where the ATM was. So we got stuck halfway. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So then you never actually got to pull even the ATM out of the ground. No, 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 no. We rammed it. Yeah. And you got stuck in the ram. We got stuck in the ram. So we smashed it. Yeah. It was fucking open. Oh. Like the, <laughs> like the safe in, the safe inside the ATM wasn't open, but the fuck, all the machine and mechanics yeah. were fucking bung, busted. So, but then because you were stuck, you didn't even bother to oh, tie it up. Oh, the wheels were spinning. Or? Nah, nah, nah. And then fucking it just, yeah, we started arguing and fucking. Now, did you just get back in the car and boost off or did you just run? Um, nah, nah, we left the car. You left the car yeah, yeah, there? Yeah, we left the car. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so then yeah. once. Well, we had another car. So you have left that car yeah, and, we've and then jumped, jumped into in the other car. car. Yeah. Now you've jumped into that other car yeah. and you're obviously fleeing the scene. Yeah. What's happened from we that were fucking, point? I was fucking filthy. Yeah. And I got he angry. Would have been, yeah, yeah. I was angry as fuck. And I knew about another job. So I thought, fuck this. All the coppers are going to be coming to this job. So I'll go and hit one on the other side of town. I know. <laughs> wow. I know. Okay. It's a pretty hectic way of thinking. But <laughs> I was pissed I didn't get the urn. I was fucking filthy. Well, it's the 90s, man. Like because it, because it was a Friday night. Like, yeah. fucking... Usually, we'd never work on a Friday night, ever. But you needed to for that particular yeah, job. Yeah, for that we did. And then I went to try and hit a fucking another job on a, on a Friday night when I don't usually work on a Friday night. There was cops everywhere. Obviously, something's already happened, and fucking I got caught in the process of doing the other job. So okay, so you've got you guys have gone back into the other car. Yep. You've said fuck it, let's go to this other job. Yep. Other side of town. So you've driven yep. to the other side yep. of town. 
Now, once you've gone to that job, yeah. how did you guys... I got too greedy. I stayed in there too long. I was pulling out too much shit. I was but, loading this car up. I was angry about losing that urn. Was it another Ram raid where you've? Yeah, just- yeah. No, I was. I was. Uh, I smashed my arm with a sledge. We had a sledge in the car. I smashed my arm with a sledge and I ran through a shopping area and hit a hit a shop. I won't say what sort of shop. Yeah, yeah. But you've hit. Okay, so that yeah. wasn't okay. So you've just broken in using you know hammer sledge, or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you're grabbing shit, and yeah. because you took too long. Yeah, I just got too greedy. Yeah. I was just trying to clean the whole fucking shop out. <laughs> You know what I mean? And then what happened? I had a cool cover. And I was just fucking filling it up full of shit. And then what security Dragging has out just like come Sandra out of? Sack. And then when the what the security or the police came nah, through? Nah, cops or? rocked up. And they yeah. were at the fucking They're at the door where the fucking hole was. Yeah, wow. Was yeah. it a guns drawn situation type thing? Uh, or was it... Oh fuck, I can't really remember. I can't really fucking remember. I just fucking remember running past them, running through the hall and running past them and jumping into the car and, and fucking, I was like rushing that bad. I couldn't get the key into the ignition Yeah. and fucking one of them pulled out a fucking bat and they've smashed the fucking driver's side window and fucking maced me through the window Shit. and just filled the whole interior of the car with fucking capsicum spray. And how many people were in the car? Nah, just me. Yeah, The other wow. dude was still inside. Oh shit. He's seen what was going on. He's fucking legged it to the other side of the shopping center and he's hip and shouldered his way through a fucking... A glass door on the other side of the shopping center. Fucking hell. And he's ran across the fucking main road and he's had a whole of other coppers chasing him. And so did, you obviously got pinched. Yeah, he got pinched as well. He got pinched as well. Yeah. And then off the back of that, did you end up going back inside because of that? Oh, fucking oath I did, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then do you remember- Well, of course, they didn't give me bail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I was on remand for, I think, for about eight months. And obviously, because it was major indictable offenses, I had to face a district court. Mm. But I hadn't been sentenced by the district court before. And obviously, you know, it's a district court. They hand out hefty sentences. Um, and yeah, I was on remand for eight months. And Now, do you recall how old you were when you I got I think pinched? I was 23 years old. So it would have been, fuck, 2003, maybe? 2002? Yeah. So yeah. right, yeah. 203. So, yeah, they fucking whacked me. Obviously, I was under investigation for a hope of other shit. So you'd already, because, yeah, because you came out of juvie. In 2001. Well, I came out of juvie. And then a year later or so, not long yeah, after, yeah, you went straight went, back went in, in. Yeah, I went in for, into Yatla. You did. For almost a three-year sentence. Then you've come out. Yeah, I've come out. And. I, I had a couple of parole breaches in between that time. Yeah. Maybe six months here and there. Yeah. And then I, like, hit 23. And then I've copped. I copped six and a half years. So a head sentence of six and a half years, and they whacked me. I think was about just under four years on the bottom. Three years, three years, eight months on the bottom. And not, this not is and this around two thousand and three. Yeah, two thousand and three for those for, that, for those. Um, and uh, then did you serve the whole sentence or? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. So, I, I, I served on my non parole period. Yeah. So then, basically, you would have done from 03 to like oh nine. Yeah. In Yatla. No, 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 no. I didn't do nah. all in Yatla. No, no, no. You, they move you around. They move from... me around. So, yeah, I did all my remand time in Yatla. And then they moved me to Mobilong. And then, obviously, there was a couple of incidents at Mobilong. And I've got tipped from there. Um, yeah, okay. And and I went back to Yatla. And I spent... Oh, I can't remember what time I spent in Yatla there. But then they moved me from Yatla to Port Augusta. Because usually when you'd fuck up at a medium security prison, they'd send you to more mm. maximum. And they'd send you out to Port Augusta, they'd just make it hard for your fucking visitors, and yeah, they'll just you know about just it. make it difficult. But then yeah, I got out there and I sort of did the right thing, stayed out of trouble, and they sent me up to a low security prison at Cadell, and then I fucked up there. <laughs> Can you <laughs> say what it is that the oh, fuck up was? Fucking oh fuck it, because I've been to Cadell a couple of times. What was it that time? Oh yeah, they caught me out of bounds mean what's that what as in just out, like you've got out, outside of the prison yeah okay yeah and you get cane pretty hard for that yeah, yeah i did yeah yeah okay i was um yeah meeting a certain young lady outside the boundaries <laughs> um yeah the, the, the lesson oh yeah